What's going on? It's Ayo with Street Sanctum. It's Rob with Culture Collective. All right, so we actually both placed orders today. I placed an order for 25. Yeah, I got the number right this time. I placed an order for 25 of the Trill Teddy hoodies and 25 fleece shorts. And then I placed an order of 20 mesh shorts because I'm trying to get ready for the spring in the summer at the same time. What, what, you, what did you uh, place your order on? I'm new in the game and I got two t-shirts coming out. I have one in two different colors, red and black. So I wanna see which design is better and see which weight is better for the t-shirt. And also got some mesh shorts coming out as well, the same design as one of the other t-shirts. So I have three t-shirts and some shorts that are coming out soon. So y'all be on the lookout for that. I'm really excited about it. Ayo has actually been showing me the ropes on everything. He's been doing a good job of helping me cut out all the unnecessary stuff that you gotta go through. So like, appreciate him for that. It's sure. an easy process, but still taxing. Um, instead of getting a sample, I'm gonna have him make a hoodie in each of the two shorts, and then he's gonna have to send me pictures of that and videos of that. I'm probably gonna FaceTime him, well not FaceTime him, but video call him on WhatsApp, and have him show me everything, and, and let me see how the zipper work, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's, that's important. Cause the zipper, the zippers on, on the pants I have now, I don't, they're not very good, they need to be better quality, but, I want him to make the first one, that way I can test it out, make sure everything's good, and then he can make the rest of them. Like, it's gonna make the process take a little bit longer, technically, but I'm still cutting out the process of him having to send it back. And I'm also cutting out the process of how expensive samples are. Like, how much you paying for your samples? Paying Like, for, for one person, how much do you pay <clears throat> total for each shirt, or for, for the two shirts? About 150. 150 total, and that's for, that's for a shirt and pants, or that's for two shirts? Just for two shirts. Okay, so 150 <clears throat> for two shirts. I think whenever I had my bulk order of shirts, I paid, matter of fact, the very first order, I paid like 500, and that was for 50 shirts. You know what I'm saying? So that's 350 basically for, matter of fact, yeah, that's 350 for an extra 48 shirts. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, samples are just expensive. So that's just how it go. <laughs> In some place, some people they might charge you one fifty for one sample. So imagine you in the sock. <laughs> I one fifty for two socks. I tried. <laughs> yeah. He said I've been there. But you know what's crazy? One fifty for two socks, right? But if I get thirty socks, it's one thirty. And this don't make sense. If I get fifty socks, it's two fifty. That, that math don't make sense to me. So how did you do your payments? All right, it's a complicated process to do the payments. Some people like you to do MoneyGram, Western Union, app called uh, Remitly. Remitly, and it's, it's kind of complicated because they're overseas, so you have to like look at the weird addresses. It's not weird addresses, they just spell weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it looks I'm, weird sometimes. Just... Don't put that on this A. <laughs> and so it's like, you have the, the numbers and all that stuff, so you have to enter all the information while you're trying to transfer it over. And sometimes the apps don't translate. Well, I don't know what it is, but one guy, he was trying to ask me, he sent me his bank information, and I searched his bank information on the app and it didn't pop up. So now I'm at a standstill with that part of my sample. So that's one of the frustrating parts about it. Yeah. Have you had any uh, communication issues yet? Uh, yeah, I have had some. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a lot of communication errors because you know sometimes they will not understand what you're trying to say fully. The language barrier could be there sometimes. So you have to like have pictures or examples ready to show them so they know what you're talking about. Me, I had a fortunate experience where I had used a similar manufacturer that somebody else had used. So I kind of was like, kind of, yeah, like you did that. Like, yeah, how you did it on that one. Yeah, how you did it on that one. Use as a resource or a guide for it. So that was a lucky part I had. But yeah, there can be a language barrier at times in a, a lapse in communication. Does that lapse in communication have anything to do with the time zone difference? Cause I know it's like when it hit like maybe 10, that's when they start replying. It's like, I be up to like one, two, going back and forth, just like, you know, messaging them. I don't know about the, cause I'm pretty much up most of the day. So I don't know if the uh, time zone is an issue because usually when I get to them, they usually hit me right back, like within a couple minutes and we have like a conversation. Then after a while I check out, like I feel like I gave you all the information I need to give you for that, that day. Then I go back and I check in with you tomorrow or whatever. Uh, so what's been the most difficult 
part in your opinion so far? The most difficult part for me so far is because of the angle I'm trying to go with my brand, being creative with the designs. Because I have the ideas in my mind and trying to translate that from my mind to a design is kind of hard when you're not the person drawing or behind the pen. So explaining that to somebody can be very, very difficult. It can be like pulling out hair because like, oh, I meant it like this, but you know, you didn't explain it. So you're like, it's on me. And the back and forth sometimes can really, really be frustrating because it's like, I meant it like this, but you don't know how to explain it because you're not the designer. Person. Yeah. So I know a little bit of how your process started. So uh, what's easier in your opinion, trying to get somebody to create a design for you or trying to purchase a design that was already designed? you can say? Uh, it depends because if you look for a design that you can pay for and keep the design, you may come across those like a needle in a haystack, you know, like a design that you actually like. So if you go that route, you may be there scrolling and searching for days yeah. or weeks before you find something that like can relate to your brand and like help relate the image that you're trying to portray. But if you go, if you get better at using the tool, see like I actually started to like, this was a simple tool, just like watching videos about it so I can like learn a little bit of the language. So when I'm explaining some things to them, I can use some of the lingo that they use yeah, and like yeah. it can help portray my image or what I'm trying to get across, but it's still difficult. So I'm gonna have to say it's easier. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be easier uh, finding the design on Instagram because <laughs> trying to translate sometimes complex ideas to somebody else, especially with, it can be language barriers with that too. That can be very, very difficult. So I'm gonna go with, it's easier finding the design on Instagram. Do you think it's because you don't communicate, like you don't know how to, I guess, explain it? Or is it just like, do you think that could be a language barrier also? Cause you know, I've seen, I can't remember exactly which video it was, you know, we were watching um, a lot of videos on YouTube and one one person in particular, he was saying, we could switch manufacturers. So I can give you my manufacturer, he can you give me yours. And based off of how he's gonna communicate with that manufacturer and describe what he wants, he will still get a better product than you would. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it's a matter of how you describe things. Cause that's what I'm thinking. Cause I tried to get designs made and I have stuff that I thought was cool, and then maybe two weeks later, I'm like, man, this ain't really all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna waste my money on that. I don't, I don't wanna print that. I ain't doing that. So it's like, it's it's so many designs that I done paid for, and that I done had them made, and I'm just like, yeah, I ain't gonna use that. Even when I got it, I'm like, eh. You know what I'm saying? I pay for it, but. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't see myself using it for that. You know what I'm saying? So it was a guy on Fiverr, okay. a design, graphic designer on Fiverr, and I thought I explained it in detail so well. <laughs> I'm behind the computer, like, yeah, I got that. You know, so I thought I explained it so well. Yeah. And well, he sent me back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad, bro. The instructions, I like literally, I sent pictures and I had references for him to use each step of the way, and I like numbered it and like numbered the picture with the, like I had number one, I wanted it off center like this, and then I had a picture labeled number one so you could look at it. I thought it was detailed, and I was like, ooh, this is my first time doing this, so I ain't know if I overdid it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, that. And then all of a sudden, when you sent me back, bro, I was so disappointed. <laughs> it made me feel incompetent in like explaining something to somebody. I was like, am I not doing this right? Do I need to go look up what different terms mean? Yeah, so I, like <laughs> I didn't think I did that bad to explain what I wanted, but the result I got made it look like nice. It was true. I'll make sure y'all also make sure. <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to the shipping process of ordering and all that stuff, like what's the frustration? One thing I had to really come to understand is that just because it says that they printed the shipping label, that didn't mean that they actually send it off. And at the same time, just because it says that they just sent the shipping label, that don't mean that they didn't send it off. So that's that's one thing that's frustrating because for for example, one, one manufacturer, he, he said he, he dropped it off with the shipping company. But whenever I kept, when I was checking the shipping information, when I look it up, it says that they haven't received the package yet. It just says ship label printed. I have not received it. But he said he sent, he, he delivered it or sent it to them. So it took about a week and a half before I saw any activity on the tracking information. So it's like once they actually receive it or whatever, it still gotta go through customs. Luckily, my, my packages have only been in customs. At least with these two manufacturers I've been dealing with, my packages are only in customs with like for a few hours. 
But when I sent off a package to somebody, and it was going somewhere else in Texas, you know what I'm saying? Actually, it was one of our cousins. So I sent her a package, and it just, it didn't say that I, that they received it yet. But I personally dropped it off at the post office, you know what I'm saying? So it was like two or three days where it said I, uh, shipping label printed. So that's when I was like, okay, so I guess that is a thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's the one part I was scared of. It's like every video, like I be watching different people on like, Instagram and on YouTube and all that stuff. And they be like, they be having their time lapses and all that stuff. I'm like, yeah, it's two o'clock in the morning. They be looking sleepy. You know, like, I just finished packing all the things, all the packages. I gotta go take them out. Ooh, oh, so you, you, be were, making the, you were asking about shipping out. Like just the shipping process of the manufacturing the samples because I'm like, okay. I'm waiting on that part and I'm like, I want to get to the part where I can order a book and I want to make sure the timing is correct to like be set by my job dates and stuff like that. So I, would, like, I would recommend from my experience, I would recommend trying to get them at least a month before you, like, at least whenever you're ordering, plan to receive them at least a month before you need them because there may be setbacks. It may be like some shit might, like it, it may it may take like a week later or you know what I'm saying? So I would just say, just plan for that extra time because one of my orders, I plan to get them like two weeks before, but one of them I got, I think two weeks or a week and a half before. And the other one I got the day before. So you know what I'm saying? And I ordered them at the same time. So it's like, you just never know what might happen with, with, with the manufacturer, like they, they might say they got sick. I know one man I was dealing with, he said, well, his family members died, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, you never know what's gonna happen. And one dude talking about his phone broke. So that's why I didn't hear from, from him for two days or something like that. <laughs> so it's just like, you, you never know. So my biggest thing about dealing with somebody overseas is like, you can't just pull up on them and see what's going on. You have faith. Yeah. Right? That's that's, 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 that's that's my thing. So when when they communication, when they go MIA, it's like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad, like, a rookie coming into the game, I'm glad you told me about the either two or three payment system uh, thing. Yeah. Because, like, the fact that you can't pull up on them, like, you just sending your money up to somebody you don't know, <laughs> you know? And you just trusting them that a package gonna pull up at your house yeah. three to four weeks later. And it's like, so when you pay them in different increments, it helps out because it incentivizes them to do the work, obviously, because they want their money. But it gives you a peace of mind that, you know, the stuff is actually getting done because they're sending you proof at the different times of wherever you need the payments are at. So, like you said, the first payment is to, like, a, a down deposit. Yeah, down to payment get them to start. Deal. Whenever I was going to do this order, when I was initially going to do just the fleece shorts and the mesh shorts, he was trying to get me to do two payments. And I was going to do it, but then I was like, all right. One more person hit me up about the hoodies. That was the straw that broke the camel back. I told him, all right, if I get hoodies in this order, I'm going to do it in three payments instead of two. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to do it in three payments instead of two payments. He was like, all right, bet. Just for you. Like, that, they always say that, okay, just for you. I don't want to hit you with that yet. <laughs> but I know we talked a little bit about, like, explaining your designs to the manufacturers before you order and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And as far as samples, do you think anybody looking to start their own brand should, like we said earlier, get into the lingo? Because when I was trying to explain the mesh shorts to a guy in the manufacturer earlier, it was a part of mine that I wanted to embroider. And he said, do you want it as a, a, a word I didn't know? And I was like, I had some own personal shorts that I wanted them to be like, and so I like seen my video of those shorts. Yeah. It's like, no, it's this. And I was like, oh, okay. But I had the shorts that he was talking about. It was uh, sublimation or something okay, like that. Sublimation. I think that's what he was saying. And so, I had printed it in, yeah, in the shorts. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, nah, that would have made this look cheap, man, you know? <laughs> yeah. But if I had a different design, you know, it would have made it look nice. So, like, understanding the brands and stuff like that because they end up being the same price. But, like, he led me this way at first because he thought that's what I was talking about. Yeah. And so, if I would have just been like, yeah, okay, 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 I would have wasted money on that sample, you know, mm -hmm. in a sense. So, yeah. So, do you think they should learn a little bit about the lingo? Definitely. And one thing with that is, even if you think you know the lingo, I would say, yeah, I want sublimation. Can you show me an example of some sublimation that you've done? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they like, got whatever videos, you, they got that videos. way, you can realize sublimation ain't the right word. It was, yeah. it was screen print. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. it's just like, and another thing I would definitely say is, if you have an example, send it to them. Whether it's something you have, like you can take a picture of or something you can find online. So, that's for sure what I do. I tell, hey, can you do this? How much is it? <laughs> How much is it if you if you uh, crop the hoodie? Like, cause I'm gonna have them cropped at the bottom, and then on the shorts they're gonna be cropped. 
the fleece shorts are gonna crack. You had a couple videos of people rocking your brand. Mm -hmm. How'd that make you feel? Man, it's dope. <laughs> Like if people pull up to the house and they wear my shirt, or if they tell me they they wear all my shirts, I'm like, hey, send me a video. <laughs> <laughs> so like, it's a good feeling. It, it's definitely good. For, or even if if they wear like you know one of the, one of the wristbands, that's that's dope too. Like yeah, like I was telling my homeboy who uh, graduated the other day. Yeah. I was just chilling with him, met up with him, and he had one. I was like, <laughs> come on, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's gotta be a lot to see your brain out there like growing and stuff like that, and then yeah. people use it in the content. Yeah. And stuff like that. That's gotta be. In 2024, I'm kind of. I gotta. Um, yeah, I don't even want to say it's a. I'm gonna say it's a plan. I don't even want to say it's a. It's a goal. I, it's. I guess you can call it a goal. It's not a dream. For sure, it's not a dream. It's. It's a goal. It's a plan. Um, I'm gonna get one of my shirts in a music video for sure. That's this. That's a guarantee. I don't think you're talking about that. That's. But, matter of fact, you got any short term or long term goals with the brand? Right now, my short term goals for the brand, right now I want to uh, get with a creator and get my website set up. You know, I feel like me order a sample from now is like the, the push down the hill, you know, the ball rolling now. You know, you got to get your, your decks in order, make sure you have all your things ready and stuff like that. So I want to get the website ready. I want to come up with a couple more designs so I can have those ready for when these drop, you know, so I'm not just sitting there having to start from scratch again, kind of just keep one in the chamber. Uh, I'm going to call those my short term. Long term, I would like an artist or somebody famous to wear my brand, you know, like, because what I want to do is depict mental illness in a subtle way to where it's not like broadcast everywhere and to show that like you can wear it and be proud of it and stuff like that. And so like to have a artist or a celebrity, of, a favorite celebrity of mine rock my brand, just promote mental illness, you know, mental health and stuff like that. You know, let it know there's nothing scary that you should be afraid of. That'd be a long time ago, Ma. How long is long term? A certain time period? I want to say, I'm going to give myself a year. That's, that's good. That's good. A I year. think it's very possible. Especially, especially when you think about it, because you're, you're into acting, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's going to put you in the door to, to meet a lot of people. You know, and then you never know, like, actors, they might have some mental health issues. Right. We got to think about it, though, especially the ones that have been in it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Because if when you're in that type of environment as a kid, even as an adult, it kind of <laughs> it messes with you. So yeah. imagine being with it in in that type of environment as a kid, like growing up in that environment. That'd be great because it's like over the last couple of years, mental health is becoming so big and stuff like that. People are like becoming more open about mm -hmm. it and things like that. So I don't think it would be anything anybody would be embarrassed about. And like you said, acting and things like that, it'll intersect at some point and. You know, I can make that, that pitch, you know, like, just, you know, give out a free t-shirt, you know, have something in my trunk ready, you know, like, just always have merchandise on me. And then, you know, it could be that one day, and then somebody could take a picture, and then all I got after that one question, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> yeah. You could take off like that. It's one little connection, you know, so it's funny how it's not what you know to you know, sometimes. Definitely, definitely, especially when it comes to something like that. And then, you know, people, they, they seem to, they want to support when they see other people support them. So, mm -hmm. they see somebody of, of what they see of like high status or something like that, then they're definitely going to follow suit. It's like, I guess that's how people are. I don't know the things. Yeah. How important was it? What are some of the methods you went through to market your brand? I think marketing is important. Very important. I think that's somewhere that I lacked at. Cause I, didn't, I don't think I marketed, marketed as well as I should have. I think whenever, and I even talked about this in one of my videos. Whenever I was actually marketing, that's when I made most of my sales. So most of my sales came from the first week and a half or so. So I think so so far I made like five some five hundred something. Actually let me, let me check so I can. So far my sales is uh five ninety seven ninety two. And I know the first I think week and a half week and a half I was at like four twenty. So yeah, I think whenever I actually marketed, that's whenever I had more sales so there's to me there's a clear difference between whenever i was marketing and actively marketing i was making youtube videos within the time that i wasn't actually marketing but it's like yo you got to do both because i don't think the youtube videos made me any sales i think that's more so just me trying to get my, myself out there trying to provide whatever tips or help or information i can provide for other people but it definitely didn't contribute to those sales <laughs>
and I think people that follow me on YouTube for the most part are people that I know. So again, market on your business page, but also promote your business page with your uh, personal page. That's also something I would say, because some people would be kind of scared to do both. But it's like, you have more followers on your personal page, and then if you post on your personal page, people know that that's your post, that's your stuff, you know what I'm saying? So that's also a benefit too. Man, that's really all I had to say. So, you got anything? Oh, no, that's it. Uh, just make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at The Culture Collective. It's T H E K U L T U R E K O L L E C T I V E underscore. That's me on Instagram. Yeah, you can check out the Instagram at street underscore sanctum. Go ahead and like a post, comment on a, on a post. Let me know which shirt y'all like better. Or you can support the YouTube channel, like a video, comment on the video. Let me know what you think I could do better. Just you know, comment the video, just interact with your boy. You can go ahead and subscribe over there or visit the website if you do think you wanna buy something. It's www.streetsanctum.com. I got two shirt designs out right now. On the website I have those two shirts in regular size uh, fitted shirts. And I also have the Trill Teddy T-shirt in the oversized fit. Oversized fit is in now, or whatever. Hey, but I did try one on and I like it. So I'm not gonna lie, I, I actually sold one of them the other day. A homeboy came through and he was just like, hey, what shirt you got on hand? And I showed him the different ones and he put on that oversized. He's like, yeah, I think I like this I like one. This one. <laughs> Let me get this one. <laughs> I think that, that wraps up the video. Y'all have a good one. Peace. I'll let y'all.